Hey guys, it's Fistful of Coffee, and today on Saturday, some Monster Legends Weeks, we do have a bunch of new leaked monster designs, as well as a brand new multiversal monster moveset, as well as some new leaked events. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so the first leaks we have are for some brand new multiversal monster designs. The first one is going to be for Superfume. We have already seen this one before, and I think that it is decent. It's probably my least favorite multiversal monster design so far, but it's still pretty decent. And then we also have Superfume's description right here if you want to go ahead and read that. And then we have the Ancestor monster, Justin Justice's design. So I actually like his quite a bit. It looks really cool. And then when he awakens, it looks even cooler. I do really love his awakened design. I think it looks really cool. And yeah, his normal one is pretty cool as well. And then we have three more designs right here for the Multiverse Era book, which will basically just if you get multiversal monsters, it'll get them put in the book and you can get rewards if you get a lot of them. So yeah, definitely try to get as many multiversal monsters as possible. And there are two that we haven't seen yet right here. And they both look pretty decent. The back one is kind of weird. I don't really like that one. But the front one is really cool. So yeah, pretty cool designs. And then we have UV Forge's design, which is another really cool looking one. It's pretty much just a cooler version of UV Fusion in my opinion. And UV Fusion already looked pretty cool. So yeah, UV Forge is a really cool monster design. And then we have Exothermic's design, which I have already seen before, and it does look very cool. I do really love this one. And then Shield Bolt looks really cool as well. And then we also have Spitzy right here, which is a kind of goofy looking design. I honestly don't really like this one that much, but it's kind of cool. So yeah, none of these designs are really bad. All the Multiversal Monster ones are kind of cool. I like them all. And then we have two descriptions right here for Justin Justice and UV Forge. And then we also have an update for Justin Justice. So it looks like he actually got a buff, so it will be easier to awaken him now. Now, if you receive damage boost five times from himself or any ally, it will go ahead and go towards his awakening before it was just himself. So now you can just put like a bunch of damage boost monsters on your team and you can get it even faster, which is amazing. That will definitely make him much better. And then we also have UV Forge's moveset right here. So UV Forge is going to be a magic and dark attacker with control, immunity, trait, and trample, and remove evasion skills. So those are some pretty great stuff. Let's go ahead and see if she's any good. So it has an AoE magic damage, which isn't that great. It has a damage boost to itself with an extra turn, which is pretty cool. It has a heavy magic damage with trample to one enemy, which is pretty cool. It also has evasion and double damage and a random elemental hater to itself, which can be really good, but it's already pretty good with these two. So yeah, if you get a random elemental hater that actually helps against the monsters you're up against, it will be even better. And then it can also remove evasion from one enemy and deal massive dark damage, which is pretty good. And then it can remove evasion from all enemies and deal moderate magic damage to all enemies. And that is pretty much it. So it has some pretty good moves, but it has a lot of moves that are just not that great as well. But it will be at least decent. And then we have Spitz's description if you want to go ahead and read that. And then we have some potential new fugitive names right here, which are all pretty cool. But of course, the names don't really matter that much. And then we have Swift Dog as a description, and we have its design. So this is another multiversal monster design. And I do really like this one as well. I think it looks really great. So yeah, pretty much all of the multiversal monster designs are really cool. The only one I kind of don't like that much is this one right here for Spitzy. But all the other ones are pretty great. And then we have some more descriptions right here if you want to go and read those. And we have the Multiversal Era Season 1 event checklist completely checked off. So this is confirmed where all of the monsters are going to be. So if you want to know how to get any of them, go ahead and check this out. And then we have UV Forge's tray right here. We got Immune Control Tough and Evasion, which are all really good. Those are some pretty great traits. But UV Forge will be inside of the Air Shop offer, so it will cost real money. So I'm not sure how to think about that. I don't think it's good enough to cost real money. So don't spend your money on it. And then we have some images for new books. So if you want to go and look at those, they both look pretty great. Some pretty decent designs from those. So yeah, that is going to be it for this video. Let me know down in the comments which monster you guys are most excited for and which design you like the most. My favorite is probably either UV Forge or Exothermic. They're both very, very cool. But then again, Shield Bolt is also really great and so is Swift Dogga. So yeah, they're all just pretty great. But let me know down in the comments what your guys' favorite is. And yes, this is in the next one. Over to like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye.